I'm collecting the SWOT analysis of the Purvanchal University with respect to employability and enterprises of our university. Uh, can you? Next, please. Okay. Strength. I showed it in green because these are our something that we have something for strength. Most of the degrees that we offer, most of the degrees that we offer are professional degrees. So that's a strength for us in terms of the employability. Uh, our university is basically young, and that's why it is in the manageable size, and uh, the organizations are all clustered around in the same place. So that is also a strength for us in terms of uh, in terms of uh, managing the employability aspect or the enterprise aspect. So that is a strength for us, I think, as compared to other universities in Nepal. Third. Our university is situated in the industrial belt of the nation, so we think that this is an opportunity uh, that we have. And as I say, the young university, so what we see is that we still have a very low bureaucratic hustles with respect to uh, changing any policy level that we want to make changes in the policies or any modification that we want to do in our present system uh, with respect to employability and the enterprise system. And another strength that we realize that university executives, that is the top level university decision makers, are market oriented because they know the uh, basically what exactly employability means, uh, what does enterprise means, and how does it work. Because our vice chancellor is along with us in this program, so definitely uh, this is a proof that it is an orientation towards this. Uh, it is important in our top level executives. So these are some of the strengths that we highlight. Weaknesses, red. No, so far, so far, no clear policy as of yet with respect to employability and enterprise, and this is the first step we can say, or with respect to how for growth, we have started working in it. Our organization is understaffed, and I will say they are untrained with respect to employability and enterprise system that we want to include and that includes even our faculties are also not very much uh, trained in this area and I think this process will start the training. <clears throat> we get very limited budget from the government so finance could be a major or a budget could be a major problem with respect to any uh, big programs that we would like to do uh, with respect to employability and enterprises. Because if you want to establish our incubation center, it will require huge investment. So that would be a challenge for us. Uh, that's a, 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 our weakness, we can say. Uh, still, we do not have a proper data management system of our graduates. So that is uh, basically a, one of the major weakness we think. Because we don't have any management system of uh, who are our graduates, uh, where are they right now. Uh, those things are need to be uh, properly managed, those data. Uh, University level links with the corporate sector is limited as of yet. It is slowly increasing now, but it still we, we think that uh, we have a lot of opportunity in that, but we have not worked on it. So now the present uh, team is working on it, and we have started creating the relationship, and that is still limited. So that's a weakness. Opportunities, as I said already, due to industry location, more employment opportunities are there in our region. So that, that we take it as an, uh, our uh, opportunity. Uh, another opportunity that we say that we are the only university in that particular region of the nation. In the eastern region of the nation, we are the only university. So definitely that gives us an opportunity there because students might be attracted towards our program and things. Uh, being professional degree, students are usually employable, I will say worldwide, why in the sense because many of our students have gone abroad also for the opportunities that they have got and this is because of the professional degrees that they are having. So these are some of the opportunities that we say, think we have. And the threats, 
overall, the country is not in a very good state with respect to the political stability. So political instability as well as the interference in the education system could be a, a challenge with respect to something new that we want to do in terms of employability or uh, enterprises. Because this is something new in the university setup in the country. Uh, slow economic growth, so that is another region we see that the job creations are less overall in the country. So that is uh, basically a, a threat. Uh, we also see that corporate houses are indifferent to universities' activities. They have no interest to know what kind of graduate we are creating, what kind of course we have. You know, the, the, the basically, they, they're, they're, there is lack of dialogues between the university and the uh, uh, corporate houses. And that is, I think, one of the threats we have, because still we have not been able to uh, bridge that gap. Uh, bright students are attracted toward foreign degrees or Kathmandu, that is our capital. Because we are away from the capital, like your university said, we are away from the capital, so most of the bright students are attracted towards capital. They migrate to capital or to foreign uh, universities. So definitely what we say is that, you know, it's, it's like uh, in the computer we say GIGU. You know, so the garbage in, garbage out. Not in, in literal sense, but we take the students of the third or the fourth, you know, in terms of the level. So definitely we cannot create a very uh, bright graduate. And as I say, centralization, which is Kathmandu based, all the most, almost all the political or the, uh, the ministerial decisions are done at the Kathmandu, <coughs> at the capital. So uh, that is also hampering us because we don't get a lot of uh, attention from the, uh, the private sectors as well as the government sector with respect to employability or um, any employability opportunity for the students. So these are some of the threats that we thought is with respect to Provincial University in the given domain of uh, employability and uh, enterprise. Yeah. Thank you. And Can I ask this last question? Uh, okay. About corporate uh, organizations, yes. so you were saying yes. that they are in different universities and universities. Um, have you tried? Uh, so uh, let me be frank, like, uh, I've been in the university for the last 18 years. Uh, as far as I remember, like, it was almost 12, 15 years back, we had, we set in, in uh, with the corporate houses, we started that university needs your cooperation, university needs your, you know, like, uh, cooperation activities, joint activities. The leaders, they say yes, when they sit in the table for the discussion, but nothing comes out in a concrete in terms of the activities. Mm -hmm. So, and I see even till today, it is almost the same situation. So, and, and, and I think this is it's not because university is not interested. It is because they are also not interested. And I, I, I don't know how to break that, to make them interest towards like, as, as you're like in London or in UK, you have this apprentice system. And we are also having discussion, maybe the finance minister has to do something related with the industries to take this students because when students wants to go for um, internship, you know, they are given a very jobs which are very indifferent. Uh, in, in the sense like those jobs does not uh, give them a lot of knowledge about the work. So that that's what because they are not using that it's very uh, uh, yeah, appropriate thing. And uh, so that, that's what our concern is. We don't have the apprentice system, but what we have, we have an uh, internship. Okay. Maybe I take it a little bit different as an internship and apprentice. Uh, uh, internship is a part of the course, like where they have to be in the organization for two months or three months. But apparently, after the graduation, they are there for you. I, I, that's how I am trying to differentiate it. But uh, maybe in some way it is similar also. So, you know, then we request the corporate process to take them. They do take because that's an obligation also. They pay. 
but that is not a very learning process for the students. So they go there, they spend two months there, but that is not very, very uh, fruitful for the students which we think could have been. Because they are not involved much. Or they are not like, they are not very really open, like, okay, I need some of the students in the, uh, this uh, area or this area. It is what we are pushing them, okay? So, okay, fine, we will take five, five students of yours in this year, so they take it. But when they really have a problem in the engineering department, they are not looking for students who can work there. And that, that is what we think is uh, the, the indifference. Yes, actually, uh, if I say we have an evaluation system, and even in the uh, internship, and, uh, we have divided this evaluation uh, with the school and as well as the industry, who, who uh, takes them, like in terms of its uh, uh, like its uh, punctuality, discipline, uh, involvement in the job, and things like that. We do have some categories in which they have to uh, evaluate the student. Because do it at the end of the two months period. It's, it's the same policy. Yeah. And what about supporting the student through the internship? Do you stay <coughs> closely involved with the employer during the internship? Uh, yes, that's a, I think it's a uh, valid question in the sense they're not very much involved in the em uh, employers. Maybe uh, the students may be too interact. Like, what are you thinking of? What do you, what do you write about it after two months? Because, uh, that's what we try to interact with them. Start thinking right from the day one. What are you going to do after these two months off? Because they have to prepare a report. What are you preparing a report on? So in that way, student-wise, we are interacting. Uh, but I think at the, at the level of uh, uh, industry or the, uh, the employer, we are not interacting with them, uh, with them much. Because we find it's not very easy to Yes. You call these uh, studies professional oriented. Professional degrees. Professional degrees. What is? They do they have any specific qualification? They get. They are more. Uh, uh, it's limited in the sense. Like uh, we have. Suppose if you say engineering degrees. So engineering degrees, I, I will definitely say it is uh, different from the regular bachelors or undergraduates. Uh, similarly, in the management also we have a regular program, but we have the uh, uh, BBA and the MBA programs. Uh, similarly, even in the nursing, we can say that the BSc nursing uh, or the uh, MSc nursing or B Pharma or, or a Master's uh, in Pharmacy, these are some of the specialized course, professional course, uh, as compared to a regular uh, graduate without any specialization or a regular um, undergraduate students without any any specific kind of things. So. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.